Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do another reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days, okay? Um, so from the time that you watch it. So I think it's the week of October 11th. Yeah, because I think today is the 10th. So yeah, the week of October 11th through the 18th. What do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Taurus? We're just going to get one of these. I got a, a few different decks here. What do we have for Taurus? Ooh, could be dealing with a cancer. Could be dealing with a cancer. Could be some, well, we have a crab here as well. Something that happened during cancer season may be, be coming to fruition now. I do think that you need to be careful because there's bad advice from a friend or family member. You know, there is, it could be, it could be a cancer. And it doesn't have to be. You could also just be dealing with a cancer. Um, it may be a very emotional week for you. you <clears throat> it's interesting that my throat is messing up because I don't have any issues. I haven't smoked in um, two weeks t tomorrow. So anyhow, uh, yeah, my throat has been fine. So there's something to do with communication. That's the throat chakra. There's probably could be some communication issues that are going on. You could be dealing with somebody that has cancer, sun, moon, or rising or strong cancer in their chart. Cancers are, to me, the most emotional sign in the zodiac. Uh, so I think that it is going to be emotional, whatever is happening. Let's get one of these. Oh, oh, I guess we got a couple. We got two. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So you could be taking a physical journey, all right? Or this is a mental journey. Whatever is happening, you're gaining some sort of wisdom. Then we have coins. Money will be coming to you. So money is going to be coming to you. And that's a good sign. And that's what we want to hear. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? Money is, you're going to see an increase of money this week or something like that. Or something is happening this week which brings you money at a later date. Development, okay. Um, development, gradual progress, continuity. Slowly but surely, adaptability, a time-honored approach. So I think you're going through a period of development. Maybe it's spiritual development. Whatever is happening, you are becoming more successful. You are becoming wiser. Like that elephant, you're going through a, a spiritual awakening of some sort. This is some sort of journey that you're on. Slow and steady wins the race, which is very much your energy. Um, you are making progress. A time-honored approach. So whatever you're doing, you're doing it right. Okay, you're doing it right. You're doing it the right way. So don't give up. Don't give up your approach because it appears that you are doing it correctly. Let's get one of these for an overall energy. This is a period of development for you. And you're doing well. It's going to bring you uh, abundance in the future. It is. Money's going to be coming to you because of whatever it is that you're doing. So don't give up. You're on the, you're on the right path. What do we have for Taurus? Awakening. <laughs> I knew it was a spiritual awakening. You notice it's on the bottom of the card. It says awakening. It is 20. It is the judgment card. So this is a card of karma. It's a card of truths being a re of, uh, <laughs> truths of being revealed. Truths coming out it is the end of a trial. This is a life changing. It is the end of things. So you are going through some sort of um, awakening. It is a spiritual awakening. You're ascending. Okay, you are ascending. 
I feel like uh, this is truly a spiritual awakening. You're not even the same person. Take a look at that. It goes from down here to here to here. Look at you. You're in a really, really, really beautiful place. You're, you've gotten to a point where you're, you're forgiving. It's like you're forgiving yourself. You're forgiving other people. You're at a place of ease, you know? I mean, this is, a, this is seriously a spiritual awakening of some sort. It is. You've ascended. Now, judgment is a card of release and acceptance as well. That's part of your awakening. When you are able to release things and accept things as they are, you know, and not, and, and be forgiving, you know, forgiving the past, that's about the past. When you're able to forgive the past and release and accept and, uh, go with it, you know, and accept it and not have any remorse, you know, when you lose that, when you lose that old self of who you were, you just become at peace with the whole, it's, that's, what, that's what this is, it's like becoming at peace with yourself, you're totally at peace, you've gone through some sort of spiritual awakening, highly intuitive at this time, I locked him out, had to. Um, Life-changing decision. I think that you are in the process of changing your life. Highly awakened. Congratulations. I wanted to say congratulations with a development card as well. It's very spiritual. Uh, Jesus consciousness with that awakening card. It's like, it's beautiful. It's like you're in a really beautiful, beautiful place. What do we have for Taurus? Knight of Swords reversed. Let's get another one. Let's get, let's get them all. Let's get them all. Okay. We get the five of coins. The the Five of Swords reversed and the King of Swords reversed. That's over on their side. What about your side? Could be vice versa. Two of Cups reversed. No, Five of Cups reversed. I'm sorry. The Hangman and the King of Cups reversed. So it's so King of Cups reversed right under that Cancer card. Now, I'm not sure which side is yours. You may be closing yourself off emotionally. You may be. I mean, we get the King of Cups reversed, the Hangman, and the Five of Cups reversed. I feel like you're really, uh, there's, a, there's a lack of, of uh, wanting to engage. I feel like you're, you're maybe emotionally withdrawn. Maybe you've dealt with somebody that neglected you. You know, they're the Five of Coins. It's neglect. They neglected you. They abandoned you. You know, they left you out in the cold. Um... You have three fives, five, five, five. Expect the unexpected this week. Now, somebody from the past, and I don't know who it is, could be somebody that has cancer in their chart. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a child. It could be an, uh, somebody that you grew up with. It's somebody in your past may want to reconcile with you in some way. And reconciliation doesn't have to be a lover. Okay, this could be a friend that you had a falling out with. It could be a family member that you had a falling out with. There's forgiveness here. With the, with the judgment card. That is a card of forgiveness and acceptance. Um, I think that you're in a really, really good place. You're in a very, I think that you have, a, you have some sort of awareness, awareness of why everything happened the way that it did. I feel like you're gonna be shocked when I get the Knight of Swords in reverse. That's a shock, it's almost like a tower moment. But I, in this case, I feel like we have a conflict that is ending, okay? The Five of Swords in reverse. I feel like something is going to be exposed. I feel like there is a masculine here with the King of Swords reversed that may have abused their power. They abused, this was an abusive individual. This is somebody that was a bully, that was um, mean, cold, very cold. There's definitely a very cold-hearted masculine here. And it could be a father figure. Um, or, it, you know, this could even be a woman who is very masculine. This woman acts like a masculine. She's not very feminine. Okay, so there is somebody here that is a bully that is uh, trying to fight, picking fights, blaming others, um, pushing people away, uh, 
victim mentality. This is either male or female. There's there's a there's a person here in your reading. I don't feel like it's you because I feel like you're over here. I feel like you this person um, may be throwing their heart into a situation. Maybe they were abusive and and uh, they were a bully or, or they were cold hearted in the past. This definitely has to do with something that happened in the past because judgment is the past. It's about accountability. Okay. So I feel like you've reached a place of acceptance and this is that's I think but I also feel like your person that whoever this is that we're talking about has also gone through some sort of spiritual awakening so I feel like uh, no I don't think this could be a lover but in my in many cases I don't think it is I mean it could be it could be I feel like there's somebody definitely from your past that uh, neglected you abandoned you um, maybe even abused you, and this could be physical, mental, verbal, um, definitely neglect. I feel like there's some regrets here. I do. I think there's some serious regrets, and I feel like you're going to be, um, whatever happened, whatever this betrayal was, whatever it was, you know, where you had to, you know, I feel like you were, you were belittled, you were, you were stepped on, you were, um, pushed away, you couldn't win, you were in a predicament where I've definitely bullied. It's like you could not win no matter what. I feel like I feel like it's over because I feel like there is some sort of uh, awakening. Anyhow, King of Cups reversed, emotionally unavailable. Um, not looking for any type of love or not not willing to open up emotionally. It's definitely going to be emotions all over the place. It's interesting that I saw that with the Cancer card. Right underneath the Cancer card is the King of Cups reverse. That is emotions all over the place. You are going to be emotional. You're going to be emotional. Your feelings are going to be all over the place. You may be drowning in your emotions. And that may be over uh, a rejection. I mean, and mirroring it is the five of coins. I do feel like there is somebody that um, really, really betrayed you, that really, really hurt you, that abused you, that um, has some serious regrets. I'm not sure if this person is going to be communicating with you or what. Or maybe it's just you. Maybe you're sacrificing yourself waiting for this person or you're going through... Well, we have the hangman. So I feel like you are definitely going through your own awakening, right? This is a time of isolation. It is a time of introspection. I feel like you're, you're maybe closing yourself off right now. Um, thinking about everything that has happened in your life. I feel like you, you may have this fear, you know, of opening up to anybody because of the neglect that you've had in the past. There's definitely neglect here. You know, 555 is personal freedom, um, unexpected change, expect the, expect the unexpected, major life changes. Your life is about to change. It is. I think you're going to be shocked. Um, I think for some of you, you may have a new prospect here with the Five of Cups reverse. You may be, maybe you're just realizing that it's time to focus on the future. It's time to let go of whoever this person is that isn't really communicating. There's somebody around you that isn't communicating well with the King of Swords reverse. This person is very cold hearted. They're very cold hearted. Um, mentally abusive as well. You, there's some sort of mental abuse here. King of Swords reverse, Knight of Swords reverse. That's definitely abusive. There's tears. There's tears. There's sadness. There's uh, beginning to realize the truth. I think that you've already realized the truth. Now you're starting to accept the truth. Now this could definitely have to be with a father figure or somebody from your past that really affected your life. The past is here with that judgment card. Five of Swords reversed next to the Five of Coins. This is abandoned, neglected, uh, left for dead. You know, the Five of Swords reversed. That's that's uh, extreme betrayal of some sort. You got somebody here that is mean. Very, 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 very mean. This person does not communicate well. They want to win at all costs. This is a bully. It is a bully. This is somebody that... Um, likes to be in control and it feels like they like to have all the power. They say really, really mean things. It's either a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Pisces. We have Pisces twice. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So it's either Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, 
or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is wanting to get their way and they'll do anything that they possibly can do to get their way. So they may try to intimidate, they may try to bully or uh, cause havoc. There is somebody here that is causing havoc. It's a male or a female. If it's a, if it's a female, it's a, it's a it's a female that isn't very feminine. She's she's more masculine than she is feminine. Um, five of Swords reversed. That is some sort of power struggle. Seriously. Somebody wants to prove themselves. They want to prove themselves. We also may have somebody here that is really throwing their heart into a situation. Now they want to prove themselves. I do feel like you are going to be shocked. You are going to be shocked. Who? It, but it feels like whoever you dealt with, you know, they're very... Uh, you could be dealing with a snake, okay? You could be dealing with a snake. This person doesn't care who they hurt. It feels like they chew you up and they spit you out, you know? There could even be some bloodshed, you know? This hurts. It's really, 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 really hurts. This is reversed, though. So I'm just sharing it to you this way. But somebody could be wanting to call a truce. They could be, they could be wanting peace, you know? So somebody may want, you know, some sort of peace. Ten of Swords reversed. Something coming back from the dead. There is something coming back around. There is something coming back around to be dealt with. There is. There could be a death here even. May have to, there could definitely be. I mean, I hate to say that. The Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords. I mean, it looks like it's a. there could be a death here. May have something. This is somebody that maybe they've neglected themselves. They didn't take care of their health. They didn't take care of themselves. Um, yeah, I do believe that you're going to be shocked. There is some sort of, uh, you know, making an exit perhaps with the Knight of Swords very, very fast. I do feel like you're going to be in your emotions. I feel like uh, you're focusing on the future, but you're also focusing on yourself. I don't feel like you're really open to any type of giving your heart away to anybody especially if i mean if you're single but the king of cups reverses emotions all over the place thinking about everything that has happened with the hangman sacrificing yourself for some sort of cause but there's been a lot of grieving there's been a lot of sadness and it's beginning to realize that there's a better option so i feel like that's where you're at and i don't think it's beginning i think you've realized for quite some time now that there's a better option um there's somebody here that is very aggressive, very assertive, that likes to blame you for everything. You may even be dealing with somebody that is clueless with the Knight of Swords reversed. They're not very intelligent. Maybe they've been manipulated by somebody. There is some sort of manipulation here, whether this person is doing the manipulating or what. We have somebody here that likes to be in control, that is trying to take the power. And I feel like there's malicious behavior here. There's somebody that doesn't care who they hurt. They do not care who they hurt. I also feel like you may be receiving some bad news. I mean, I just got to be honest. I think that you need to be careful. I think that you need to be careful because there is somebody that, um, I don't know. I feel like this is a pathological liar. I feel like you're dealing with a pathological liar. Mm. Freedom from suffering. There is freedom from suffering here, though. Because 555 five, five is personal freedom, and then the Ten of Swords reverse is personal freedom. So I feel like I feel like you got somebody here that was also, and this is for somebody else, that is very cold-hearted. This person I closed off their emotions. This person probably may have some sort of regrets, you know, and they're going to be, you know, this person has a victim mentality. They like to be in control. This could be even somebody that has narcissistic tendencies, maybe even mental health issues. Just being honest, we got a lot of swords, okay? We've got the Knight of Swords reversed, and it's on the Knight of Swords reversed is in the middle, but on their side is the, is the King of Swords reversed, the Five of Swords reversed, and the Ten of Swords reversed. 
So that's those are mental, okay? So I think that we have somebody here that's having a hard time controlling themselves. They may be out of control. Somebody, we may have somebody here that is out of control. They can't control themselves. They don't care who they hurt. All they want, they want to win at all costs. They're feeling abandoned. You maybe you ghosted them. You know, they're not getting the attention that they need, and I feel like they're gonna do something. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's malicious. I don't know. And maybe it's because you focused on the future and, and, and they don't like it. I feel like there's somebody here that really, really doesn't like it that you have uh, abandoned them. You know, you've decided, I don't want to have anything to do with this anymore. You know, if you've closed yourself off emotionally to this person, so this person reacts. So, yeah, that's what I got. Something is coming back around. This person is not willing to give up the fight because they like to win. So, yay. Seven of Wands. Yes, get prepared. This is, you're in a tough position. This is defend yourself, stand your ground, challenges, opposition, fighting. So, yes, yes, I do believe that you are going to be dealing with a challenge this week. You're going to be challenged and your whatever your belief is, somebody or who you are, or whatever the position is that you're in, you are going to be challenged this week by a bully. You buy a bully and and I don't know if it's somebody you work with, somebody you live with, somebody with the, from your past. You are definitely going to be challenged by some this person is ignorant. Okay, they're ignorant, they're not very intelligent. They like their power. They like control. This is a pathological liar. I don't know and if you've exposed. Five of Swords reverse is something being exposed. You know, I don't know if there's some crime that has been exposed. Or if you've exposed some lies. Or you've exposed something. You know, and so this person is reacting. And you're going to, it's like they're, they may be poking you or putting you in a position where you have to fight for what you believe or you have to fight for your, your, your position or you have to fight for something. You're definitely going to be challenged. You're going to be challenged by an individual that wants to, uh, it's almost like cause your fall. They want you to fall or they want you to have a fallout or they want you to have a breakup or they want you to have a separation or they want you to lose or something like that. This is malicious behavior. It absolutely is. It's an abuse of power, King of Swords reversed. This person uh, is has some chronic problems, and maybe it's even mental problems. You know, they can't get out of their thoughts because they can't. This is somebody that is highly competitive that can't stand to lose, so they lie. They lie to win. And, you know, when you lie, things just get, the lies get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So I think that you're going to be dealing with some power struggles this week with the fives. You are. You're going to be surprised. You may even be shocked. Somebody could be, you know, picking a fight with you, blaming things on you with a Knight of Swords reversed. And I feel like you, you, I feel like you're in such a good place, though. I, I don't know if it's going to work out. You may just shut down your emotions completely. Two of Coins reversed. Ah, the lovers, unexpected choice in love. Wonderful. Mm. Yay. And then we have the two of coins right next to it. And the two of twos are about partnerships. But two of coins reverse is, is lacking balance. It's lacking organization. It's no plan. It's not planned. Oh, God, no. King of Cups reversed. Emotional withdrawal. Holding on, holding on to yourself, isolating yourself, not really giving, not planning, not planning on this connection. Oh my God, what is this? The lovers is an unexpected choice in love. It's an unexpected union. You could have an arrival here. You're not even looking for it. You got so much on your plate. You're overcommitted. You know, you got so many things going on. You're doing too much. You're not looking for it. You could run into somebody. Mm. 
Maybe it's at the store. You could run into somebody from your past at the store. Now, this doesn't have to be a lover. And it, and, it, and it could be somebody that you have a past life experience with. Okay? You may not even know this person yet. There's a change in position here. There is. There's, a, there, there's somebody coming in that is going to challenge your belief. They're going to challenge your position. They're going to ch and you're going to be caught off guard. You are going to be caught off guard. You may have somebody here that is opening their heart. They maybe 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 they're they've uh, been protecting themselves, and they're going to be fighting for something. They're going to be opening their heart to you. Definitely with the King of Swords, somebody could be opening their heart. The King of Swords in reversed. There's been some neglect though. Somebody's been going through some hard times. They've been depressed. They've been, maybe they've even been ill. Maybe they were uh, struggling with breaking free from some sort of abusive situation. Anyhow, there's an unexpected choice in love here with the lowers card. This is... You know, somebody that you have shared values with, that you will see eye to eye with. You may be deepening a bond with somebody. This is, could even be, you know, I don't know, could be a sexual encounter of some sort. It could be. This is a sexual connection. It is, it is falling in love, okay? So I think that you're going to be deepening a bond with somebody. But I think you have a lot on your plate with that two of coins reversed. Maybe you're not... <laughs> Oh God, maybe you just need things to go slow. Maybe you're not ready. Maybe you're not ready. Hey man, struggling to let go, struggling to let go of something, struggling to let go or to open your heart. Let go of your fear. If the Knight of Swords reverse could be fear. You may be very fearful. Let go of your fear. Just do it. Just do it. I hate to say that. Um just do it it's scary it's scary um you're gonna be propositioned this week by somebody somebody that you already know i think i think you already know this person if you don't you're gonna feel very familiar with them right from the beginning this is somebody that you either abandoned or they abandoned you this is coming back around There could definitely be a reconciliation with the lovers in the, in the judgment card. There could be. You're going to have to make a decision because judgment is a life-changing decision. The lovers is a choice. Expect the unexpected. 555. Life changes. Major life changes. Everything changes. This is a major life change. You're going to be shocked or surprised with that Knight of Swords reverse. That is a shock. Good luck.